Chapter 1. Airport Encounter. The spacious airport was filled with noisy hustle and bustle. Xianing was not expecting this when she got off the plane. She was extremely familiar with the people not far from her, looking around with cameras, reporters. She pressed down her hat and frowned. Didn't I say my whereabouts should be kept secret? She said to the person next to her. Xia Ning, a rising movie star, won the most prestigious Golden Lion Award for Best Newcomer within a year after her debut. The person next to her was her manager, Lu Qing. Yeah, I definitely didn't tell any outsiders about you coming back from Z City today, Lu Qing looked at Xia Ning innocently. She should be the one who would hate the most to see Xia Ning being photographed by the reporters. Just as Xia Ning was having small signs of becoming popular, there was a bunch of dirt on her immediately. The agency was already unhappy about it. Otherwise, they would not have to rush back the second the advertisement at Z City was done. Xia Ning glanced at Lu Qing quickly. Her lips twitched a little, but nothing else came out. Lu Qing felt some goosebumps with Xia Ning's look. Right at that moment, the assistant that was sent to gather information, Wen Jing, came back. Wen Jing shouted to Xia Ning happily, Sister Xia Ning, I got the information. Those reporters are not here for you. There are reporters at the airport, but they are not here for you. Why does it sound like I'm not popular enough with those reporters? Xia Ning was a bit upset. Did Lu Qing hire this gal just to give her headaches? Are you afraid that people don't know Xia Ning is coming back today? Lu Qing stepped up to hit Wen Jing on her head. Be quiet. Well, if they are not here to catch us, let's go. Xia Ning pushed up her sunglasses and walked forward with her backpack. Air, sure. Lu Qing nodded and followed Xia Ning. Looking at Xia Ning's back, she felt upset too. Xia Ning was very beautiful. Her beauty was unassuming but it grew on people. Her body was well-proportioned, five feet six inches tall, with a pair of gorgeous legs that would make any girl jealous. She had an incredibly slender waist and her long, smooth hair rested casually on her back. She was a real beauty in every way possible. It is a pity that she was becoming popular too fast. Even a face like this was said to be created by plastic surgery. When Jing dragged the suitcase and followed, don't you want to know who the reporters are after? Xia Ning walked in the front as if she didn't hear, while Lu Qing was thinking how to keep this a secret. Another assistant, Xiao Shen, was focusing on pushing the luggage and didn't even pay attention to Wen Jing. But Wen Jing was not embarrassed at all. Actually, the reporters are here for Li Shan Chan. As if she was talking to herself. Li Shan Chan? The national goddess? Xiao Sheng said suddenly. Her acting skills are not as good as Sister Xian Ning. When Jing glanced at him and sneered, acting skills aren't as useful as publicity. Haven't you heard that Li Shan Chan and the president of Xingxia traveled to Venice together? President Chiao is among the best of the rich, a real diamond bachelor. Li Shan Chan will be flying to the top this time. She stopped talking as Xian Ning stopped moving forward. She realized that Lu Qing was staring at her coldly. Shoot! The wrong gossip came out. When Jing's heart skipped a beat. Sister Xia Ning, I didn't mean to. Xia Ning looked over to the arrival gate. Even with sunglasses, the flashlights could almost burn her eyes. Her hand holding the bag suddenly tightened. At the arrival gate, a group of six to seven people walked out, all black suits and steady paces. In the middle was a man in a black haute couture suit. The man was tall and strong. His facial features were deep and elegant, with a pair of black, cold eyes. He looked straight ahead as if he was a king looking down at his subjects. His presence was unapproachable. Chapter 2 Of course President Chiao disdains me. President Chiao, President Chiao, are you back from Venice with Miss Li Shan Chan? It is said that you are planning to expand into the movie industry. Was it because of Miss Li Shan Chan? What are your thoughts on Miss Li Shan Chan missing out on the award this time? The reporters went up with microphones. The bodyguards separated them to the side, not allowing them to approach the king-like man. The passageway was jam-packed. 
Xianing turned around suddenly. I need to use the restroom. Lu Qing nodded, staring at the handsome man. That guy is really good looking. She said to herself. Much better than the so-called stars in the entertainment business. How did he fall for a boring doll like Li Shan Shan? Ugh, guys are just that shallow. The king-like man suddenly glanced over. Lu Qing's heart jumped. Is he looking over? But the man's gaze did not stay. He moved forward with the help of the bodyguards. The crowd followed the king-like man away. The arrival gate finally quieted down. Lu Qing saw Xianing walking out and said, This President Xiao of Xingxiu is really good-looking. If Li Shanshan is truly affiliated with him, it would be worth much more than an award. Of course, an empty vase one like her would never win the award unless the judges are all blind. Xianing stared at the departing crowd, pushed down her hat and said quietly, Let's go. Lu Qing was very used to Xianing's coldness. She asked Xiao Sheng and Wen Jing to walk faster so that the reporters would not see them. Soon after Xianing and the group left the arrival gate, another group of reporters came, but they were for another leading actress. Miss Li, is it real between you and President Xiao of Xingxiu? Miss Li, you traveled to Venice together and came back together. Does it mean the relationship is confirmed? Miss Li, you didn't win anything at the Venice Film Festival. Did President Xiao say anything about it? In the middle of the crowd was a dazzling girl wearing a long, bright red tube top dress. She said with a smile, For me, it's the same whether I win an award or not. I don't do movies for awards. As long as the people I like enjoy them, it's enough. Also, I will let you all know when there's good news. Miss Lee, are you admitting to the relationship? Miss Lee, are you and President Chow getting married soon? Li Shanshan did not answer any further. She moved forward among the cover of her retinues. A bunch of reporters went up to dig deeper, but she stopped talking. Not long after, the arrival gate returned to its silence. Take a look and see what's the art of speech. Not admitting yet not denying either, and leaving others to speculate. That will increase a lot of publicity. Xianing glimpsed at her. Are you sure you want me to increase publicity? Lu Qing sneered. Please don't. No one believed her even when she explained the scandal she was involved in. It would only be worse if she did not explain. Look at this, she just went to Z City but has already been in the tabloids three times. This gal really isn't the well-liked type. Let it go. Someone like you would never interest people like President Xiao. Lu Qing sneered and struck her down deliberately. Xianing looked at her without a word. Her eyes were as dark as black ink, with something Lu Qing could not understand. Lu Qing's heart sunk when she saw Xianing's eyes. Did she accidentally break this kid's fragile heart? Just as Lu Qing was about to comfort her, Xianing looked up suddenly and smiled. You are right. Of course President Chao disdains me. Well, let's go. Don't blame me if we run into reporters again. Lu Qing thought so as well. She just wanted to hide this troublemaker now. End of chapter 2. Click on the link in the comments section to continue the novel.